Hey, this is 88 Glam. And hey, y'all watching Rap Snacks on Hot New Hip Hop. You know the vibes. Oh, I already know. I already see what I want. The Revo gummies, bro. They don't even have the normal ones, though. See, in Toronto, I'll be getting like the normal ones. Y'all got the sour joints. Yeah, Yo, y'all got so many options out here, man. This is crazy. Like, every fucking flavor, everything. It's crazy out here. Yes, sir. Dang, shit. I'm not even really like a chips person, but like, I might have to do it today. What the show? Chopped cheese here? Yeah, sure. We in New York right now, right? I'm gonna have to get one too. We got the chips over here. We don't even usually buy this. <laughs> For the culture. Oh, they got them high shoes? What was that at? Okay, look. High shoes. Very, very, very essential. Necessary. Maybe some bueno. Mm. Hot snacks. Come on, semi healthy. <laughs> well, like, fuck, this nigga been like talking about the whole time, like <laughs> bragging about it. <laughs> like, we be going out, like getting lit, and then, you know what I mean? Like, he comes back. I knock out at this point. He be having a chopped cheese whenever with, on the drunk stomach. Yeah, I'm and then the next it. morning he be like talking about it crazy, like, yo, you gotta try this shit. We were all talking about it when we got back to the crib. Yeah, it was like him and like two, three other, two, three other dudes, and like they was just like bragging it up. So I'm like, all right, fuck, I gotta get one before I leave out of here for sure. <laughs> Very legendary. <laughs> Very legendary. My boy Villa was just like, we were, I, I think we were on. Or we were doing like a press run in New York, and he's like, yo, I gotta get a chopped cheese. He just wouldn't stop talking about it. Like, what is this thing you keep talking about, bro? Yeah. First time trying it. Just fell in love with them, bro. They're fire. When I'm super wasted, I have like a bottomless stomach, you know, so I can just I can just eat for days. Or like you're drunk and you got home. Yeah. And you just, yeah. I feel like I feel like it's like equivalent to like if you come to like Toronto or like Montreal, you gotta have a poutine, right? Mm -hmm. It's like the the New York thing. Pineapples. I'm like I, I low key like I'm kind of seeing someone right now, so I gotta make sure I'm coming through that. <laughs> Plantain chips, just something I grew up on. Um, every time we go to the Jamaican store. My mom, she's just getting her seasonings and shit. Mm -hmm. Always get a big bag of pancakes for you, bro. Yeah. They say that they're healthy, but I think they're capping. It's cap. It's yeah, cap, right? It's cap. They're mad it's oily. It's fried. But they're fire. It's though. a fried plantain. <laughs> <laughs> fried. And it's like so fried that it's like almost, it's not burnt, but it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Can I try one? I haven't had this brand before. It's pretty hidden. Yeah, and I be getting this, I be getting this shit all the time in Toronto. So like, you know what I mean? Like, it's my shit. Mango. Yeah. Can I take back my reasoning for why I like pineapple? Yes. They're just fire. Like, that's like a great fruit. You know what I mean? It's tropical, especially in weather like this. Feels like you know. And you lying to yourself, telling yeah. yourself that you're in a warm place. Exactly, it kind of makes up for the shitty, <laughs> the shitty weather. <laughs> Usually I be getting like the gummy bears, they didn't have it. They're like sour gummy bears, I can't be doing all that shit, bro. So like, the next thing was like, same brand, Haribo, but you get like the little the snakes. Same shit, I guess, different form. Fire though. Fire, very fire. Usually we mix them with like, when we're in the studio, we drink Red Bull and just eat gummies and then we just all get sick together. <laughs> fucking ridiculous, bro. Coconut water? I used to hate coconut water. Now I like it. It just feels like, um, I could just feel like the electrolytes, you know? It me, it's like drinking a Gatorade, but like not, you know? Yeah, not 100%. Yeah. How to drink, what, it's like we're lying to ourselves, you know? It's like we're lying to ourselves, you know? It's like we're lying If you eat all this and you drink a water, you feel like not as much of a scumbag. <laughs> like half a scumbag. <laughs> There's electrolytes yeah. in water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says it at the back. It's like natural electrolytes. <laughs> I uh, actually did not know that, bro. Yeah, I didn't know either. You just taught me some shit. First time recording with him, nigga had like pistachio shells on the, on the table. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you doing that, bro? Like, <laughs> literally littering all over the studio with pita like pistachio shells. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole squad addicted. That shit's crazy. But nah, it just keeps you it keeps you on your on your P's and Q's. I mean, just stay sharp throughout the day, especially gonna be eating a bunch of shitty food. We try to eat as healthy as possible. I guess you can say, but when, when you're moving so fast, it's like, it's like, fuck, we have 10 minutes to get here, we have to eat something in five minutes. What I would usually go for is like ketchup chips, but y'all don't have that out here. Ketchup chips. Have you tried those before? Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, y'all don't have that shit. So I was like, all right. Everybody who we thing. tell that we like ketchup shit, <clears throat> they just look at us like weirdos. They, think, nice. they actually think I'm lying. So like, I was looking for that shit. They didn't have it. I'm like, all right, next best thing, sour cream and onion. Real shit. High chew, vibes. This is vibes right here. Like, yeah, like real shit. Like, and then Bueno, there's like a funny story behind this one. Like, I was in like grade five, and my teacher, like, Anytime, like, whoever got the highest mark on the test in the class, she would, like, give you a bueno as, like, oh, like, congrats, like, you know what I mean? So, like, this shit just always, like, it's been around forever. Yeah. I mean, literally been around forever. We're missing, we're missing the, um, the Tostito scoops. Oh, yeah. With the jalapeno, or the, the jalapeno lime seasoned ones with the, um, with the queso and the salsa. Also missing the, the caramel, um, hagen dogs. Um, those are, like, those are probably like my top two, especially when I'm smoking weed. I go crazy, or like movie nights. Heat up the queso. <laughs> You're different. <laughs> on some ratchet shit. There's so many good cereals. Lucky Charms is definitely up there. Uh, Reese's Puff. Um, um, what is it, Cookies Ahoy? Cookie, cookie something? Cookie Crisp. Cookie, cookie Crisp. Crisp. And then there's yeah. the, health, the healthier ones, like um, what's the one with like the, uh, the honey and oats ones? Okay, you know yeah, honey bunches and oats. Honey bunches yeah. and oats, yeah, up there, hundred percent, and definitely um, Cap, uh, Captain Crunch or not? Nah, yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, for me, it's like Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Captain Crunch. <laughs> you come to my crib, God. it's just all Captain Crunch boxes. You know what I mean? Like no, literally, it's actually that's, fat. that's the only way. It's, it's kind of scary. Way. Yeah, I think my boy's developing an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up fucking sour keys, bro. Like OD sour keys. And like Coca Cola, the little Coca Cola gummies. Oh, I go yeah. OD for those. I swear to God, I go ham. Yeah. Sour oh. Keys, 25 cents. You're lit. Yeah, I think like when I was a kid, like the only candy I was really getting on a consistent basis was um, Sour Skittles. Oh, that shit was man. like my shit. Like Sour Skittles was my Are shit. Are those discontinued? I don't know. I haven't seen them. <laughs> I haven't seen it was them. like a green <laughs> pack. It came with like a green <laughs> pack Sour Skittles. That was yeah. my shit. Like, I just remember being a kid. That was my first cavity, bro. Like, it was bad. <laughs> my tooth, like, legit fell out. Like, I literally remember, like, my tooth falling out. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I still eat them. <laughs> oh, God, bro. Well, my other one was that my mom loved chocolate. Like, she just had the chocolate stash and just, I just OD Reese's. I'm just a recent guy. Like even like my selection of like ice cream is based on like how similar it tastes to Reese's. It's like chocolate and caramel. Mm -hmm. Anything is just that's, that's my that's my shit right there. Wow, that's easy. It would definitely be like an ice cream bar with like Captain Crunch in it, kind of like mixed up. That sounds like, cool. You know what I mean? Like the, the ice cream would kind of have to be like like vanilla, like but like not like just straight vanilla. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon in it. Ooh. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, we're getting very creative out here. <laughs> <laughs> very creative. Yeah. I'm just really like a, a popcorn and M&M guy. Ooh. Like maybe like a popcorn with like an M&M on the inside. That's kind of genius, low key. You want something, bro. I think I'm onto something. Yeah, you want something. Really that's, that sounds sure. lit. Uh, Chinese. If I'm drunk, Chinese. Mm. If I'm high, it got to be something very easy to make because my brain's not working all the way right. <laughs> so it's usually like a peanut butter jelly sandwich or some shit. You know what I mean? Like mm. very like makeshift in the kitchen or Captain Crunch. Mm -hmm. You right, bro? I would have to. To be honest, I would say Chinese too when I'm when I'm drinking, or just anything really greasy. Just anything sketchy. Yeah, like anything sketchy. You know? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> like, I, like I remember one time I was so drunk and I like I like made breakfast at like <laughs> midnight. Oh my god. Rum corner. I get the oxtail with the white rice, um, plantain on the side. And then like they like as an appetizer, like you with something like cause they their mac and cheese is like crazy. So like you just like the mac and cheese. Yeah, like that place is fire. It's like a Haitian Cuban spot that we got like in Toronto. It's like probably one of the only ones in Toronto. We don't got a lot of Haitian people in Toronto. So like, that's like the spot. You know I, mean? like, I would probably say Akira Bak right now. I feel like it's like, it used to be other shit, but I'm just kind of, I don't really hold on to shit for too long, you know? I'm, my, my favorite everything is constantly evolving, but it's just like a good sushi spot. It's kind of it's like our, like, like Toronto's like no blue. Mexican food in LA. Yeah. yeah, Mexican food in LA is very, is gaggable. <laughs> I'm trying to make the, I'm trying to come up with the craziest word right now for how to describe that shit, bro. It, it's like fake guac. <laughs> it's like, it's not even Mexican, it's Mexican. What was that Thai place across from our old crib called? 
Remember right on the corner, there's like a uh, there's like a VR gaming spot right there. Okay, remember right beside Rasta Pasta, there's the food store. Yeah. Across the street, there's that Thai spot. There's some Thai spots. Oh yeah. Chicken I nuggets. Oh no, the worst spot Washington. ever. Washington. Washington DC. Yeah. I don't know what. I just thought of it. Bro, we were eating at this fucking seafood steakhouse. At, at the seafood steakhouse, bro. I literally looked around the table. I was like, bro, I'm I'm, I'm gonna throw up right now. Yeah, that shit was disgusting. I don't. don't I eat. just thought of it right seafood now. Seafood and Washington. Why, why are you so surprised, bro? <laughs> Are you from Washington? You're not from Washington, are you? I think it was like, okay, this is like right when I got my first like advance. I went to this restaurant in Toronto and like, yeah, I mean, I, I, was, I had money before this shit, but like, this was like, okay, like, I'm not even thinking about the price of this shit. So I'm, I'm sitting at a table with, with a girl and like, we just ordering cocktail after cocktail. It wasn't even the food, it was the cocktails. And I don't know, and it was shots on top, but I was ordering like shots of 1942 closet, I was wildin', but like, I didn't think of like how much this bill would be because I didn't care. Bro, the bill came, I think it was like, it was like $1,700 for two people, bro. We, but we were so wasted. I was at, like, everything was just blurry. I just seen the bill, I'm like, all right, here, pay it right away, I don't wanna. The next day I woke up and I, and I, I remembered that I just spent like $1,600, $1,700 on dinner for two. I was like, what the f <laughs> Heated. <laughs> Heated. It wasn't, it wasn't even a special day. It wasn't even like Valentine's Day. It was my birthday, her birthday. It was regular a regular Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. That shit was crazy.